It's fun. At times I can't keep my mind off of it. It can be crazy. I live for it. I can't get enough of it. It confuses the hell out of me. It, uh, it makes me feel alive. It's exciting. It makes me nervous. I mean, really nervous. It makes me feel like a woman. All you have to do is mention the word and eyebrows are raised. Why is it that something so natural can be perceived by some as so taboo? Prudes, man. Name calling doesn't help. It only adds flame to the fire. What's needed is communication and acceptance, knowledge and understanding. What you talking about? I'm talking about how sex can be positive, fun, exciting, enriching, satisfying. Oh, so satisfying. Yeah, baby. So like, where do we start? With a hot, wet kiss. I say with the hand job. That works for me. You're all wrong. Haven't you been listening? Huh? First, know yourself. I love hand jobs. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Whatever sexual choices you make, make sure they're ones you're comfortable with. Ones that will make you feel proud, not regretful. I like it all. I like sex with myself best. That's good, because masturbation is the only kind of sex that has no serious consequences. Okay. Having sex with someone is both personal and intimate even if it's a one-night stand. Yet on the same note, having sex does not guarantee intimacy. Huh? Sex does not mean love. Sex is physical. Love is more of a caring for someone, which can be physical as well. You can have sex without love and love without sex. And love with sex. And sex with love. Whatever you choose, make sure it's what you want. I just want sex. Hard, fast sex. And be aware of what you can handle. I need to know that it's more than just sex. Try to be honest with yourself as to what you are looking for. I want muscles. I want a nice ass. I want someone who cares for me. That's great, but also look inward. Like what I want him to do to me? Sure, but more importantly, know what your sexual desires are. I love women. I'm straight. I love the person, not the gender. Know what your limits are. Be clear with what you will and will not do. I'm a giver, not a taker. And know what you want to get out of it. Orgasms. Multiple, multiple orgasms. I want someone who cares for me. Whatever, as long as you're honest with yourself and your partner. Before we got it on, it was great. But then after we hooked up, she didn't call back at all, not once. Be respectful and truthful to yourself and to your partner. Don't lie to get laid. That's bad. Real bad. And don't let your partner rush you. If you feel things are heating up too fast, slow down. If they come on too hard, I back off. You have to be honest with one another from the word go and the word no. 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 So, if you're going to enter into and explore this wonderful world of sex, remember to have each other's consent. Be honest with one another. Treat each other as equals. Watch each other's back against physical and emotional harm. Sex is meant to be a good thing, not bad. Always use a condom. Prevent unintended pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections. Condoms also allow you men to share the responsibility of birth control. My girlfriend's on the patch, but we still use condoms. You never know. Always protect yourself against unintended pregnancy and STIs. Use your preferred method of birth control, but also use a condom. I don't want no clap. Herpes, whoa. Chlamydia sucks. STIs do suck, especially HIV infection, which is real scary because it's estimated that some 25,000 to 35,000 female and male college students in the U.S. are infected with HIV. Wear a condom, please. Okay. I will now. Welcome to the wonderful world of sex. There are many choices of hormonal methods of birth control, oral contraceptives being the most popular. Hormonal methods are divided into two categories. The combined methods that contain both synthetic estrogen and progestin, which include the pill, the patch, NuvaRing, and Seasonal. And the progestin-only methods that contain progestin, hormonal methods of contraception work in the following ways. First, they prevent ovulation by causing the body to think it has already ovulated. Hormonal methods also cause the mucus in the cervix to thicken, further inhibiting the passage of sperm to the egg. 
If the sperm manages to fertilize the egg, the hormones in the pill change the lining of the uterus, making it difficult for it to implant in the uterine wall. Possible hormonal nuisance side effects include, but are not limited to, nausea, breakthrough bleeding, breast changes, weight gain or loss, mood changes, and depression. Most nuisance side effects will disappear after two to three cycles of use. If you're experiencing nuisance side effects, contact your medical practitioner for advice. The symptoms of possible serious side effects of using hormonal methods include those that spell out aches. A, for severe abdominal pain. C, for severe chest pain and shortness of breath. H, for severe headache. E, for eye problems, loss of vision, flashing lights. And S, for severe pain in the calf or thigh. Serious side effects are all related to blood clots. Severe pain anywhere should make you seek medical care. If you have any of these symptoms, you should stop using your method and contact a health care provider. Benefits of hormonal contraceptives. Regular menstrual periods, less cramping, reduced menstrual flow, improvement of acne, less anemia, decreased incidence of ovarian cysts, decreased incidence of ectopic or tubal pregnancy, significant protection from ovarian and endometrial uterine lining cancers, decreased incidence of pelvic inflammatory disease, decreased incidence of non-cancerous breast problems. The pill, or more specifically, it's called the combination pill because it contains synthetic forms of both estrogen and progestin. There's another pill that has just progestin, called the mini pill. It's important to know that the combination pill is taken orally, once a day, at about the same time on a 28-day cycle. You have to remember to take it every day. If you vomit a pill within two hours of taking it, take another pill of the same color. It's a good idea to have an extra pack of pills on hand for just this reason. Both nuisance and serious side effects are similar for all combination methods. Serious side effects are all related to blood clots. Most nuisance side effects will disappear after two or three cycles of use. If you are experiencing nuisance side effects, contact your medical practitioner for advice. The disadvantages of the combination pill include, it provides no STI protection, you need to remember to take a pill every day, and hormonal methods can also change the shape of your eye, causing you to have to get refitted if you wear contact lenses. There's no need to take a break from the pill. There are also many different formulas of pills. If one doesn't work for you, try another. The pill is 99% effective. Be safe, always use a condom. Ortho Evra is a thin, small patch that is worn for a full week and then replaced weekly on the same day. This routine lasts three weeks. Then on the fourth week, no patch is worn. During that fourth week is when your period will begin. Both nuisance and serious side effects are similar for all combination methods. According to studies, Ortho Evra is 99% effective when used correctly, equally as effective as a birth control pill. So it's a patch and it goes anywhere in my body? Actually, try your butt, your stomach, upper torso, minus the breast, and or your upper outer arm you may experience minor skin irritation. Oh, but, but what if I have a tan? Or, or what if I'm really pale? Or what if my skin is dark? Whoa, slow down. You're out of luck on this one. I'm sure in the future, though, they will offer different colors for the patch to match your skin tone, and maybe in different shapes, too. So, maybe you wanna test it out with me? Oh, well, how about we hang out and get to know each other first, before we hook up? Do you wish to prevent pregnancy? Are you too forgetful to take the pill? Are you too squeamish to get injections? 
then the Nuva ring might be right for you. This fabulous, flexible vaginal ring contains the same hormone-like drugs as the pill. You simply insert the ring into your vagina and leave it there for three weeks. Yes, that's three weeks. Then remove it for one week and your period will usually begin during that fourth week. A new ring is inserted every month and you or your partner will most likely not feel it. If it is out of your vagina for more than three hours, you must use another form of birth control. And if you are not happy with the Nuva ring, you can remove it yourself at any time. Yes, you can remove it yourself if you're not satisfied. For every 100 women who use the Nuva ring for a year, about one or two will become pregnant. Side effects are possible abdominal pain, chest pain, headache, eye problems, or severe pain in the calf or thigh, similar to the hormonal methods. Serious side effects are all related to blood clots. The Nuva ring does not protect against STIs. For safe sex, use a condom. Seasonal is the first extended cycle oral contraceptive. It is a 91-day regimen taken daily. For those women who prefer the convenience of fewer periods, Seasonal offers a safe and effective alternative to the traditional 28-day oral contraceptive regimen. But the advantage of fewer menses, 4 versus 13, should be weighed against the inconvenience of increased bleeding and spotting. Seasonal is a highly effective form of contraception, similar to other oral contraceptives. Some women should not take Seasonal. Your healthcare provider will be able to assess whether or not you are a good candidate to take Seasonal. Besides the increased bleeding and spotting, the nuisance and serious side effects are similar to those of other hormonal methods. It's important to remember that Seasonal, like other oral contraceptives, provides no protection from STIs, sexually transmitted infections, including HIV. with clotting disorders or for other reasons they shouldn't take estrogen, the progestin-only pill or the mini pill is available. This, like the combination pill, is also taken orally on a daily basis. Though unlike the combination pill, which contains three weeks of hormone pills and one week of reminder pills with no hormone, the progestin-only pill contains hormones for every day of the cycle. Some disadvantages might include that certain medications will affect the effectiveness of the mini pill. You also can't afford to miss the pill. This dramatically increases your chance of getting pregnant. The mini pill must also be taken at close to the same time every day. There is more breakthrough bleeding with the mini pill, and it's also not as readily available as the combination pill. Now, some of the advantages of the progestin only pill include that it's not confusing to take. You take the same type of pill every day, and you don't have a pill free week. There is a decrease in menstrual cramps or pain, lesser lighter periods, a decrease in PMS and breast tenderness. The mini pill is 97% effective. Be safe. Always use a condom. If you're not afraid of needles and want semi-extended periods of protection, then Depo-Provera is the thing for you. Depo is a progestion-only form of birth control prescribed and administered by your healthcare provider. It's a one-shot deal, preventing pregnancy for up to 12 weeks at a time. There's no daily hassle. Of every 1,000 women who take Depo-Provera, tests prove that only three will become pregnant during the first year. Side effects will be similar to other progestion-only methods. If you have any reactions to Depo, you'll have to wait it out for up to six to eight months after your last injection, and six to 12 months until your fertility returns. Some women who take Depo gain weight or complain about feeling bloated. You also have to return to see your healthcare provider every 12 weeks. On the flip side, Depo Provera is a good method for women with seizures or who can't use estrogen. It also doesn't interfere with other medications you might be taking. It also allows you to be sexually spontaneous. Implanon is a progestin-only implant consisting of a small, flexible rod that is inserted just under the skin on the inside of a woman's upper arm. Only four centimeters long, about an inch and a half, it releases progesterone which inhibits ovulation, and it is designed for three years of use. Implanon is not affected by antibiotics, but may be affected by some other drugs, such as anti-epileptic or anti-TB drugs. Consult a physician for more information. Implanon is highly effective in preventing pregnancy, as effective as the other progestin-only methods.
This is the Morena IUD. It's a small plastic device which is placed in the uterus by a healthcare provider. The Morena IUDs are effective for five years and work by preventing fertilization of an egg. They do this by thickening cervical mucus, inhibiting normal sperm movement inside the uterus, and by reducing the growth of the lining in the uterus. Make sure to talk to your health professional to see if an IUD is right for you. With proper use, less than 1 in 100 women using Mirena IUDs became pregnant during 5 years of use. A string on the IUD hangs down the cervix into the vagina. Feel for the string to make sure it is still properly in place, especially after menstruation. If it's not in place, use another form of birth control until you can be checked by your healthcare professional. And remember, IUDs offer no protection against STIs, so still use a condom. With an IUD in place, a woman does not have to constantly think about birth control before, during, or after sexual intercourse, although she still needs to think about safe sex and using a condom. The IUD does not change the hormone levels throughout the body. The risks of using an IUD are pelvic inflammatory disease, and 2 to 10% of women will expel their IUD in the first year without realizing it, and they may cause pregnancy complications. Although costs for the exam, insertion, and the follow-up may seem high, the cost spread out over the five years of its use is low compared to the cost of similar methods. Do not have an IUD inserted if there's a chance you may be pregnant. Barrier methods provide physical barriers between a woman's egg and a man's sperm. They include the diaphragm and cervical cap, spermicides, Lea shield, femcap, the sponge, the insertive condom called reality for women and ages for men, and the male condom. Advantages of barrier methods include they are simple to use. Some methods, insertive condom and the male condom, provide both protection from pregnancy and protection from sexually transmitted infections. Most methods do not interrupt sex. They do not cause systemic side effects or alter a woman's hormone patterns. For women who can't rely on a partner to use condoms, all other barrier methods provide contraceptive options for them. They are good for women who only need contraception intermittently. Potential disadvantages include, spermicides may cause vaginal irritation, thus increasing a woman's susceptibility to STIs, including HIV. Using barrier methods with spermicides also increases the risk of urinary tract infection, bacterial vaginosis, or vaginal candidiasis. Allergic reactions to spermicide or latex, though the insertive condom is made from a non-latex material, polyurethane. Odor and vaginal discharge are likely to occur if the diaphragm, cervical cap, Lea shield, fem cap, or the sponge is inadvertently left in for more than a few days. Mm. Ooh. Damn, you always pick out the hot one. Ladies, he's mine. I'm taking him. Well, first you might want to try talking to him first. Nope. He'll be mine by the end of the night. You wait. Well, let me know if you need a condom. I always come prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Condoms are great. For every 100 women that use them, only about two will become pregnant with perfect use. And condoms are the only form of birth control that can prevent the spread of sexually transmitted infections. They're also easy to use. All you have to do is open the package, pinch the tip, and roll it down an erect penis. All the way to the base, and voila. Let's see that again through the magic of slow motion. With typical use of male condoms, 15 women out of 100 will become pregnant. With perfect use, two will become pregnant. Make sure to wear your condom during oral, vaginal, and anal intercourse. Also, check the expiration date on the package. Keep your condoms at room temperature. Too warm or too cold will decrease their effectiveness. And never, ever use an oil-based lubricant with latex condoms. It will destroy them. Instead, use a water-based lubricant, like KY Jelly. And if you're allergic to latex, which most condoms are made of, use condoms made from polyurethane. Mm. 
Oh. Mm. Hold on a sec. Let me get a condom. What the hell is that? It's an insertive condom. It's called Aegis when a man uses it with another man, and reality when a man and a woman use it. Oh. How do you use it? Roll over and I'll show you. Besides being a great way to help prevent the spread of STIs during anal and vaginal intercourse, the insertive condom is also an effective method of birth control, and it's made of polyurethane, which is great if you're allergic to latex. It's a plastic pouch with flexible rings at each end. Insert it into the vagina like a diaphragm. You can also insert it into the anus. Just remove the inner ring. The ring at the open end stays outside the vagina or anus. Of 100 women who use the insertive condom, 21 will become pregnant in typical use. Five will become pregnant in perfect use. Who says you can't teach an old guy new tricks? Who you calling old? <laughs> <laughs> Here. Don't be embarrassed. We can help you. Help me? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with liking sex, whether you're in a long-term relationship or if you just like a little hot romance every now and then. If you want a method of contraception that is simple to use and requires little pre-planning, then me and my friend Cece can help you out. Cece? Cece for cervical cap, and she's Lady Die for diaphragm. We're both sexy, soft latex barriers that fit securely over the cervix to help prevent unwanted pregnancies. We both also require a fitting by your healthcare provider. That's me, the diaphragm. And that's me, the cervical cap. It's important to remember to use a spermicide cream or jelly with us, and always check before and after every use for holes. Will do. Did you know I can be left in place for up to 48 hours? 48 hours? Cool. Just make sure to use more spermicide before going at it again. And again. And what about you, Lady Di? I can be left in up to 24 hours, but if you have intercourse more than six hours or again after you put us in, make sure to use more spermicide. And every time you use us, you must keep us in for an additional six hours after the last act. Anything else I should know? Well, we both come in a variety of sizes and it may require refitting if you lose or gain weight. And if you are allergic to latex or some brands of spermicides, you may not want to use us. Bummer. Some women who use me develop frequent bladder infections, so watch out. Thanks for your help. No problem. Now go see your medical provider about getting fitted for one of us and come back when you have a prescription. And while you are here, make sure to get some condoms as well. You don't want to get any STIs. For the cervical cap, with typical use, 20 women out of 100 will become pregnant. With perfect use, 9 out of 100 will become pregnant. With the diaphragm, with typical use, 20 out of 100 will become pregnant. With perfect use, 6 out of 100 will become pregnant. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Spermicide Woman! Yeah, yeah! As always, I am here to protect and serve. Oh, thank you, Spermicide Woman. These contraceptive forms block the entrance to the uterus, and with mighty bubbles that contain spermicide, they immobilize sperm. But how do we use them? You lie or squat down and insert them deep inside your vagina before intercourse, but always read the instructions on the package. That's all? You must insert more if intercourse is repeated. Way to go, spermicide woman. You can also try these. Contraceptive creams, jellies, film, and suppositories. These melt into a thick liquid throughout the vagina and block the entrance to the uterus and contain spermicide that immobilizes sperm. You must also insert a new dose each time you have intercourse. And with your help, young man, they can even spice up your foreplay. Wow, just how effective are you, spermicide woman? Out of 100 women, six will get pregnant with perfect use. 26 will get pregnant with typical use. You're awesome, spermicide woman. We are not awesome! 
Oh, the side woman. You're no match for me. Oh my gosh, it's that CI man. Anna, man, you're my hero. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Spermicides offer only limited protection against STIs, including HIV. Spermicides that contain the ingredient nonoxanol 9 should be avoided. Nonoxanol 9 may injure the vaginal and or anal wall and make it easier for STIs to get in. Always wear a condom. No one's going down on me without a dental dam. How about me? No way. How about me? Not without the dam. I'll lick it. Then let's get it on. These small sheets of latex got their names because they were used during dental surgery. They act as a barrier between the vagina or anus and the mouth during oral sex. This barrier greatly reduces the risk of spreading sexually transmitted infections during oral sex. Before use, lubricate the entire area with a water-based lubricant to increase the amount of stimulation. Then, cover the vagina or anus with the dam. I prefer to hold it while my partner does the licking. And I prefer to hold it in place while I get down to business. <laughs> Experiment to find out what works for you. Some even come with nifty adhesive strips to hold the dam in place. And if you don't have time to run out and buy a dam, you can always make your own out of a condom. While oral sex carries no risk of pregnancy, most adults carry the herpes virus at their mouths, and it can be contagious without symptoms. So dental dams make oral sex safer. The FemCap is a non-hormonal, latex-free barrier method contraceptive device. Since it is made of silicone rubber, it is non-allergic and easy to clean. 75% of women in clinical trials preferred the FemCap over the diaphragm. The FemCap is less effective than hormonal methods, and if you have an infection in the vagina, cervix, or pelvic area, or a cut or tear to the vagina or cervix, you should not use the FemCap. And the FemCap offers no protection against STIs, so still use a condom. Leah's Shield is a barrier method of birth control that should be used in combination with a spermicidal agent. Like the cervical cap, it blocks the cervix. But unlike the cervical cap, Leah's Shield has a centrally located valve which allows the passage of cervical secretions and air. Because of its shape and size, it fits snugly over the cervix. The shield is reportedly as effective as other barrier methods of birth control. The shield does not require individual fitting, but you should ask your medical provider for a demonstration of the insertion and removal of the device if you choose this form of birth control. Remember, it offers no protection against STIs, so also use a condom. Really, you have to pull out. No, no. Oh, yeah. No, really, I don't want to get pregnant. Don't forget. Don't worry. It feels so good. I know, just don't forget. What these two young homo sapiens are attempting is an archaic form of birth control called the withdrawal method. To be effective, the virile male must remove his penis from the woman's vagina before ejaculation. The hidden danger is that the pre-cum or pre-ejaculate contains enough sperm to cause pregnancy. Of 100 women whose partner used the withdrawal method, 19 will become pregnant during the first year of typical use. With perfect use, only four will become pregnant. And it is important to note that withdrawal offers no protection against the spread of STIs. Remember, no matter what form of birth control method you use, always use a condom to help prevent the spread of sexually transmitted infections.
The key to these methods of preventing pregnancy is knowing when you are fertile and when you are not. Women are fertile for about nine days a month. Sperm can live from two to seven days, and an egg can live from one to three days. The nine fertile days are usually six to seven days before and two to three days after ovulation. So these are the days and nights to avoid sexual intercourse in order to keep sperm from reaching the fertile eggs. Jess, can we talk, like, heart to heart? I'm scared. What happened? You know I can keep all your secrets. Well, Steve and I have been dating for a couple of months, you know, and we were at his parents' house, but they weren't home, and we just kind of got caught up in the moment, and I don't know. What happened? I need to know. I want to help. Well, it's just that one thing led to another, and well, you know. Did you use a condom? No. Did he come inside you? Yeah. Well, first things first. Whether you know the guy or whether you don't know the guy, you have to make sure you use a condom because it's the only thing that's going to be able to protect you from STIs. And second, I think we need to take some emergency precautions to make sure you aren't pregnant. We should go see a doctor right away and make sure you get the morning after pill. Thanks. Sometimes things don't go as planned. Maybe the condom broke or you were forced into sex. Whatever may have happened, if you don't want to get pregnant, then this situation might be considered an emergency. Either the doctor will recommend an emergency IUD insertion or he will prescribe a hormonal pill given in two doses. Of every 1,000 women who use an emergency IUD, only one will become pregnant. The pill, taken orally in two doses within 72 hours of unprotected sex, is proven to reduce the risk of pregnancy by 75 to 89 percent. Studies show that both doses can be taken together for convenience and to improve effectiveness. Effectiveness also improves when ECP is taken as soon as possible. Use of emergency contraceptive pills is a safe and effective way of reducing the risk of pregnancy after unprotected sexual intercourse. What it is not, it is not the abortion pill. Well, there sure are a lot of options out there for birth control, and mostly for us women, and few for you men. One method of birth control that we haven't talked about yet is also great for the prevention of getting or spreading of STIs. I'm talking about abstinence, one's choice to avoid all sexual activity. People of all ages choose to abstain during various parts of their lives and for various reasons. It is important that you regard their decision as normal, common, and acceptable. They deserve respect, encouragement, and support. If you're really serious about not wanting kids, say you already have kids and you don't want any more, or if you have a hereditary disease that you don't want to pass on, or if pregnancy presents you or your partner with a health threat, you might want to consider a permanent option, such as a tubal sterilization or a vasectomy. Tubal sterilization is a surgical operation for women. It blocks the fallopian tubes, the tubes where eggs are fertilized by sperm. Assure is another permanent method for women. It requires no surgery and is a simple procedure of inserting a small metal spring into each fallopian tube through the vaginal canal and uterus. Over time, the spring reacts with tubal tissue to create a blockage. Vasectomy is a surgical operation for men. It blocks the two tubes that carry sperm. Each tube is called a vas deferens. Pregnancy cannot happen when sperm cannot reach an egg. The advantages are they have no lasting side effects, they do not affect sexual pleasure, and the high upfront cost, which is often covered by insurance, is low compared to lifetime cost of most of the similar effective methods. Comparison of effectiveness. Number of pregnancies per 100 women during the first year of use.
using no method, typical use 85, perfect use 85. What are STIs? Sexually transmitted infections. Be safe, always use a condom. How are STIs spread? Through exchange of bodily fluids such as semen, blood, or vaginal fluid during unsafe vaginal, anal, or oral sex. Be safe, always use a condom. What are the common symptoms of STIs? Sores or spots on face, genitals, or body. Itching. Abnormal discharges from the penis or vagina. Burning while urinating. Flu-like symptoms. Use a condom. This STI has two types. One and two enters through the skin or mucous membranes of the mouth and genitals and travels along nerve endings to the base of the spine where it sets up residence. What is this STI? Herpes. Use a condom. What is the only foolproof way of preventing STI transmission? While condoms and dental dams are really good for reducing the risk of transmitting sexually transmitted infections, Abstinence is the only foolproof way to prevent STI transmission. Be safe. Always use a condom. Each year, between 3 to 4 million Americans are infected with this STI. 10 to 15 percent of American college students have this infection. 75 percent of all those with it show no symptoms, some of which are vaginal discharge, vaginal bleeding between periods, pain while urinating, abdominal pain, dripping from the penis, and pain in the testicles. What is this STI? Chlamydia. How is chlamydia treated? With antibiotics. Be safe, always use a condom. This virus affects your liver and usually occurs through blood transfusions and the use of unclean needles, as well as through blood and fluid exchange during anal or vaginal sex. What is this STI? Hepatitis B. Be safe. Always use a condom. This STI is spread through the exchange of bodily fluids during unsafe sex, through contact with infected blood, or through the sharing of needles. This infection can be passed from a pregnant mother to her child through childbirth and breastfeeding. Symptoms may appear from several months to over 10 years after transmission. This infection has no cure and is often referred to as HIV. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, AIDS. Be safe. Always use a condom. Look for signs. S, skin changes, such as sores, bumps, rashes. I, irritation while urinating, burning. G, genital itching. N, noticeable pelvic pain for women. S, sex organ discharge. There are no symptoms for many, especially women. Remember, no matter what form of birth control method you use, always use a condom to help prevent the spread of sexually transmitted infections. There's a lot to the world of sex, and although it may seem complicated, it doesn't have to be. Not if you follow some basic, common sense guidelines. First off, know yourself. Whatever sexual choices you make, make sure they're ones that you are comfortable with, ones that will make you feel proud, not regretful. Whatever your sexual orientation, 
Know what your sexual desires are and know what your limits are. Be clear of what you will and will not do. If you want to abstain, abstain. But if you do decide to become sexually active, then be honest to yourself and your partner. Be respectful and truthful and make sure to have each other's consent. If you feel things are heating up too fast, slow down. No means no. And when questions and concerns come up, don't go it alone. Seek out professional help. Your medical practitioner is there to help you. And always protect yourself against unintended pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections. Properly use your preferred method of birth control and always, always use a condom.